Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragalia Foundry, a fan channel where everything Dragalia Lost can be found. This video is going to be a quick look at the teaser we got of our next event in Dragalia Lost. It is our first ever Onslaught type event and it's called the United Front, or specifically Nadine and Linnea's United Front. And Nadine and Linnea are two reasons why people are very, very excited about this event. I'm excited to talk about it, and that's why I decided to make a video, even though we know pretty little at this point. But it's coming out in a couple days, a couple resets from now. In my time zone, that's going to be June 12th. So after the current raid event with Wukong ends, we're going to get this Onslaught event for the first time. As a reminder, it is a solo-only event, and you're going to take on hordes of enemies, but there will be certain modes that are brand new unlike anything we've seen before such as a mode where you battle completely as a dragon so uh this looks like it's going to be really fun these two characters look awesome i've seen a lot of fan art of them already i think that they're going to be a hit with the community i'm presuming nadine is on the left and linnea is on the right here we'll get a closer look at them in just a moment because there's a more elaborate preview elsewhere in the game but let's start off with this description so it says the Dionel Empire has breached our borders and our forces are spread thin already. Nadine, Linnea, I hate to ask so much of you, but please work together and defend New Alberia. All right, so not too much info here, but with all the new events in Regalio Lost, there will often be this type of info page. Usually this is something that can get data mined before reset even happens. So we knew about this a little before reset yesterday, usually half an hour or so. And now it's available for everyone to see. And this is going to be kind of our first details on what the Onslaught event is like. So they repeat what they already said earlier in the notice board here with um, the thing about the Dyrnell Empire needing to ask their help for uh, defending New Alberia. And then I'm counting on you two. And again, it seems like this is probably Nadine with the white hair and then Linnea, the Sylvan. And just look at what's going on here. I mean, I'm a simple man, Okada. If it's not limited, I'm not going to summon. But if it is limited, I'm definitely going to summon. And you're making it hard to save this Wormite right now. I was doing good with the Gala. I was being honest and uh, trying to save up my resources till I get to 100k. These units look really appealing for sure. Um, apparently this is like a fashion style in Japan. I think that what I've heard Nadine's look referred to as is Gyaru, which I think refers to her bleached hair and tan that she has as well as her outfit. But just the uh, fluffy crop top sweater with like the length of the sleeves that goes over the hands. I really like that look that she has going on. Probably my preferred character here. And as you can see, she appears to be holding some type of device. It seems to look a lot like a Sheikah Slate. I've seen that comparison made. Or maybe just a phone that she's taking a selfie with, since in her other uh, hand she is throwing up the peace sign. But uh, yeah, just a really cool looking character. Same thing with, uh, with Linnea, but um, kind of interesting. A little bit more of like a, I guess, a school outfit. Kind of has a military aesthetic to it too, just with the coloration. So um, that's not something you often see on Sylvan characters. So maybe she'll have a really interesting backstory. Like I kind of get a North, North Grassia vibe from her slightly, but uh, I don't know that we've met too many Sylvans from up there. We've really met the Windswept characters and Valerio, and we know of Finlorda. I think that's pretty much it. So I hope that in this event, we actually get a full and proper story and learn more about these characters. Of course, if you have to summon to get them to read their stories, that's kind of expected, but hopefully they'll actually play a part in Onslaught events, just like other events we've come to expect will have some type of really simple and enjoyable storyline to them. Okay, so now we get into some details about how the event works itself. Clear event quests to earn event-specific items, then trade for treasure. Clear quests to earn event-specific items and use them to earn exciting rewards. Now, funny enough, the most exciting reward that they showed here is actually the Exquisite Honey. And, um, you know, you get a pretty good close-up of the Exquisite Honey. I never noticed this little bow and piece of paper it had on it until now. You also get some mana, obviously, rupees, some Fafnir medals, but um, 
a lot of the most lucrative items, if you've been playing since Fafnir medals were released, you've already been able to clear out from the Fafnir treasure trade, and you can get those weekly anyway, so not as lucrative necessarily. And then this appears to be the gold Dianel coin that's used to build dojos. Maybe this will be a nice catch-up opportunity for those who have not completed their dojos and their halidom yet, but uh, as someone who has, the most appealing part of the Dianel coins is either A, that they raise the max level cap for dojos, or B, using the Dianel coins in conjunction with insignias to actually exchange for worm prints in the treasure trade and then get Eldwater off of them. And even then, that's a pretty low Eldwater exchange rate, so I would probably just hang on to any of these that I pick up. But what's not shown here is perhaps more important, and that's Elemental Tomes. We know we're getting some type of Elemental Tomes with this event. Now, just looking at um, these two characters, honestly, I am getting Shadow Element vibes here. I could be wrong. There's a chance that maybe this is these are water characters, like... The blue denim kind of makes me think that, along with the blue phone or Sheikah slate, and maybe the blue purplish hair on Linnea. I think it's not out of the realm of possibility they could be another element, but just speculating right now, it looks like shadow characters to me, which uh, we have a lot of shadow adventures and a lot of whom are very, very strong. So that might have an effect on the elemental tomes we get from this. I'm hoping that we get water tomes from this because I really want to unlock Karina shared skill or maybe Xander's. Those seem to be pretty good, in fact, and um, yeah, I just like to unlock those and try them out just for fun. So that's my hope here, or maybe we'll even get elemental tomes of all the elements. That would be really sweet. Okay, so lastly, we find out an onslaught event is incoming, and um, this really doesn't have a whole lot of info. I love how they did the red eyes on the Imperial onslaught boss. Part of me wonders if the reason or like some of the motivation behind this event is the fact that Imperial Onslaught, the progenitor or original Onslaught mode, if you will, is kind of dead right now. There's not a lot of people in its lobbies. It doesn't actually fill up very often. You can solo it, of course, but maybe they're making this into a proper event because they realize that not many people are playing IO, but it used to be such a fun mode when the difficulty was tuned right and um, with this being solo only, I guess that's a little bit of a weird theory, actually, come to think of it. But I think that it might draw upon Imperial Onslaught or IO in principle and its design. So uh, we'll see how it actually works, but um, I'm looking forward to this. The only other thing I can really glean from this page is that Glory is in yellow, which makes me think that maybe there's going to be like an event point system similar to what we saw with the Resolve in the Fire Emblem event and the... Um, Prior to that, the Valor was the thing in the other Fire Emblem event, so maybe Glory is what we're going to collect in this event, in addition to collecting these materials that we use in a treasure trade. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the event goes and my speculation. These characters, I mean, like I said, my decision logic is very simple here. If it's not limited, I'm probably not going to pull, but it is becoming very tempting. I'm going to try to save up. Tomorrow we should get a proper banner preview for them since tomorrow is the last day of Wukong's raid event. And uh, I'll make a video discussing the banner preview and by that time we'll know the elements and if you're watching this later we probably already know the elements. Whatever event this is I have a feeling we're going to enjoy it. I guess I think Onslaught mode is going to be more of a casual type event honestly. Something similar to Forging Bonds or Tap Battle from Fire Emblem Heroes where the satisfaction comes more from mashing the screen and dealing lots of damage to waves of enemies and it's just cool and splashy. That's really what I'm anticipating here and good rewards, so kind of like a story event but with some actual unique quests. But that is really going to do it for this video everyone, so thank you as always for watching. Let me know what you think about the possibilities with the Onslaught event in the comments below. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you next time.